Hey everyone, it's me Victoria and today I'm giving you a special treat. This is my heaven. These are the Mogalua Islands. I swim there and back. It's a mile each way and it's absolutely my favorite thing to do. Um, sometimes I'll do it after a run or a hike. Sometimes I'll just do that. And um, fun fact, I did that with Evan Rock once. <laughs> He's a really good swimmer. Okay, so today is a perfect day, as usual in Hawaii. And even when it rains, it's perfect to me because I absolutely love it. And my husband Michael would say that I'm showing off, but honestly, what I'm doing is inspiring. I hope I'm inspiring you to show you that this girl from New York City is never ever gonna leave New York City. Thought that that was my home. And I ended up moving and just taking two suitcases each with my kids and my, my husband, and we just packed up and we left. And not everyone can do it, but I gotta say, it was the best move I ever made. So, this is actually my neighbor's house. I don't live here, but it's a beautiful place, and um, she lets me come here when she's not here, and it's just really nice. I'm very, very grateful. I'm extremely um, grateful, and I wanna talk about gratitude and how if you are grateful for something, you seriously, at the same time, can't be negative. So that's a really good way to get rid of negativity in your life. And also, when you surrender, people think that's a weakness, but really in actuality, is um, it's paradoxical, but it really does resonate with me as far as not being weak at all. And if you're surrendering, you are truly giving yourself the opportunity to get rid of toxins and bring good things in. And if you attract more of that, and really truly surrender to a greater thing, a greater purpose, something else that can come into your life, then you will truly be happy. I really believe that. There are so many variables to being happy, but I think that'll keep you in a happier state most of the time and you'll be able to deal with things that come your way in a better, better place. Um, as far as surrendering goes, the same thing goes for forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is a very big one for me. I've tended to forgive people even after really some messy fights and messy, uh, sloppy, messy, hot messes, you know, just really bad stuff with some friends and even people that I hardly know. But I really honestly think that forgiveness is a very big key in happiness. It plays a big role. And you'll find that if you forgive more, you also have room for goodness and light and clarity. And it will make you feel much more compelled to be around more people that do forgive. So, it, it's almost contagious. If you forgive, somebody else will forgive, the pay it forward thing happens, and you'll feel much more comfortable in your own skin. And you won't have any harboring resentment, and none of that stuff will be taxing on your body. There's kids in the background over there. A lot of people that go. Actually, there's one of my neighbors now in the water. That's so funny. Anyway, so, what I want to talk to you about also is um, when you feel the need to hold on to something, just think about what you're holding on to and why you're holding on to it. And if you can really just let it go, you will find an opening for something so good to really just enter your body and your mind. And those are two very important things in your life because you can't get rid of your mind or your body. Okay, so some fun facts about me. Um, People want to know where I met my husband. Around 17 years ago, I was working in a jewelry store. I was a salesperson for a jewelry store on Madison Avenue, and he walked in selling gemstones. Now, I wasn't going to buy anything from him, and he wasn't buying anything from me, because we were both in sales, but we ended up talking, and it was really nice, and I didn't think anything of it, just that he was a nice guy, and he left his card, and he asked me to call him, and I was curious about how old he was. He actually is, in reality, he's seven years older than, I mean, seven years younger than I am. Although, I act much younger than he does. So, it works out. It balances out. Um, and he'll tell you that. But also, what else? Fun fact. Um, I'm an oil painter. It's one of my favorite hobbies, but I don't do much of it. I'm actually in the middle of a painting of making the Mokalua Islands. And I absolutely love to paint. I'm, I don't take it for granted that I do it, 
that I know how to paint, but I absolutely love that I can. I really do. Um, I think it's a great gift. If you paint, I think you should do more of it, and I should take my own advice. What else? What else? I was an aspiring actress uh, in New York, but I really don't feel the need to act anymore because I really like my life and I don't want to really escape. Not to say that actors are escaping their lives, but I just, I felt that shift that I didn't need to put on any act or even lose myself because I really do love where I am at right now and I don't feel the need. Um, I do love stand-up comedy. I think that's a very good medium for me to get out some sort of like edgy complaining, complaining things and whatever. I always loved it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, but I am taking an acting class with my daughter Nancy because she really is an aspiring actress and she really loves it and I'm supporting her so I go with her and she asked me to. And what else? Um, fun fact about me. Yeah, somebody asked me for fun facts, so I'm trying to list them all. Anyway, that's it for now. I don't think there's any more real fun facts. I'm a singer. I've, sound, I've sung on YouTube before, if you want to look that up. Um, so, yeah, I like to sing. I like to sing. It relaxes me. If I can't sing, I know that then I'm in a bad state. Um, and even when I'm in a bad state, I like to sing because it relaxes me. So, there, there you go. And... Um, that's it. This is the view. It's like enough talking, Victoria. We want to see. I get it. I totally get it. Ugh. For miles and miles. This is, ocean is spectacular. And I am on the um, island of Oahu. Okay, signing off. Take care, everyone. Bye.